All right, what's going on, everybody? It's been like a week since I've uploaded a video, and now I'm headed to the ranch. I got the boys. I just got me a biscuit from McDonald's, and we got a pile of work to do. We're gonna be filling feeders. I gotta fix the Polaris. Somehow or another, I don't know how this happened, the boys ran it till the wheel fell slap off of it. So hopefully I can get that fixed. I'll give you guys a walkthrough on the RV. And who knows what else we'll get into. But it should be a fun day. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I gotta open the gate. Alright. Well, I've spotted the buggy. Now let's see if we can fix it. Yep. They ran it till the wheel slap fell off. There's the tunnel. Watch out, Tim. Watch out. What in the hell? Go on, Tebow. Alright, true to form, nothing is gonna be easy today. The entire studs are missing, the lug nuts aren't there, no jack, and I'm probably gonna get stuck. All right, y'all, so let the work begin. That is about 1,500 pounds of corn that I'm gonna load onto that buggy and go put into feeders. All right, y'all, so out here on the ranch, there's always tons of work to do. Down here in the south, I live in Florida. This is Hope Sound, Florida. We don't have a ton of crop fields, so you're not gonna find big corn fields and soybean and hay and barley and whatnot. So we have to supplement our animals. Otherwise, they're gonna go to areas that there are feed. And I use a bunch of feeders. This is a Moultrie. I rate it about a five out of scale of one to 10. When you buy it stock out of the store, it's too short. I added an extra leg section and it's still, it's really flimsy. The motor, um, it, it's easy to put on, but it's easy for animals to break off and coons will climb up the leg, hang on here, spin out all the feed, and it is what it is. But there are some things that are nice about it. It's easy to put together, uh, even with the extra legs. It's not too tall. You can fill it up pretty easy. Easy to put together, easy to put up, easy to set up. It's just really flimsy and it's too short. You gotta buy extra legs. The legs cost about 30 bucks. You can see where they break. That's where they break every time. I need to come in here with a screw gun and screw that in there. All right, y'all, so on occasion, things just don't go right. I had intended on coming out here and fixing this hub and using the Polaris to zip around and fill feeders. Well, unfortunately, the Polaris is full of gas, the buggy's empty. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I'm siphoning gas <laughs> out of the Polaris to put into the buggy, and then I will be on my way. This is my second type of feeder, and it's my least favorite. It's a Wild Game Nation, and it was really just, it was difficult. I mean, yeah, it wasn't too difficult to put together, but there was a zillion screws. You need somebody to help you hold it. Putting everything together just was a pain in the neck. Once you filled it full of feed, it would never go back together. So I had to do some adjusting with a hammer, and now, it don't look quite right, but at least the lid goes on. The box meant to keep coons and stuff out. Didn't work at all, they tore it off. And then it just, I'm just telling you, for the money I paid for this, I've got three of them. I would never ever buy another one. And that, everything you see me showing you today, I have no affiliation with. This is 100% my opinion, and it doesn't reflect opinion or views of anyone else. Only me, and I'm telling you, it's an honest opinion. Alright, 
So hey, it does spin corn well. I just wish it was made better. I mean, we spend our lives with livelihood. We spend all our money out here hunting and taking care of wildlife. Last thing you want to do is buy junk because then in a few months or a year, you got to buy more junk to replace the junk you already bought. Just buy the good stuff and it's going to last you. And you're not going to get stressed and beat it with a hammer. Look at that trail. Yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. Without a doubt, that all seasons feeder is the best I've ever had. Feeders are such a huge part of what we do down here in Florida because we go through like swampy times when everything's flooded and if you build a big nice beautiful food plot and it gets flooded then all your seed dies and it's for no good but out here a feeder we can put it on a high piece of ground so that even if it floods which it's been flooding here you still have feed for the game and wild game are no different than us you don't want to live it somewhere where you can't find any food you want to go somewhere where you can find food and yeah We've got turkeys and deer and hogs and sandhill crane and dove and quail and all kinds of other songbirds that come here and eat this feed. This is a enhancement to the ecosystem. And as a game manager, as somebody who takes care of this property, maintaining my feeders, making sure they've got batteries, making sure they're full of corn, making sure they're working properly, it's a huge way to draw game in, keep game here, and keep it happy. We don't hunt does, we're trying to build up our population of deer, and we only hunt certain hogs. And we may not hunt the hog directly around the feeder, we may hunt over there, but the feeders keep the game in the area. So that's why I use it, and I hope you understand. I know some of you may actually use feeders yourself, some of you may just be here trying to figure out what it's all about, and uh, that's what it's all about. All right, y'all, so here is the RV. This is like me and Sarah's favorite thing in the whole world. We cruise all around in it, we stay in it, and check out how cool it is. Look at this. Look at the camo. The camo is actually deer antlers and deer skulls. Okay, so that's where I drive, and yes, I drive, I love to drive. We got the curtains up, and then this is where Sarah likes to ride, because she can turn around, and then when we go to trade shows, those are the two TVs that we take, and obviously this is where Sarah likes to play the cartoons for Aria. We have a cool little kitchen, and Sarah loves her coffee, so she likes to make decaf coffee, and then we call that our little grass pad where she puts all the clean stuff. And then Sarah had these cool pillows made to have the deer meat for dinner head on them. And that's Arya's packed in place. She always chills and hangs there. What's your favorite flavor? Sunflower seeds. I love barbecue, ranch, dill pickle, but my favorite is cracked black pepper. And then we have, you know, I'm taking some oh, wild boar sausage. I, I got this at the show. And I'm hungry, so that's gonna get eaten right now. Go back here. It's our bathroom, shower. Mm -hmm. There's little Aria's potty. And this is our bedroom. Looks pretty cool, huh? Sarah's like got everything all organized, put away. But now you've seen the inside of the RV. Go 
those are my little belt sanders that I sharpen my knives with. Got a big range, a cooler heating tray, double ovens. I used to cook with that thing all the time, but now I just cook with my pit barrel. And then I also cook with my grill sometimes if I just want to be quick. There's Tebow. Hey, boy. There's Mamar. Watch this, Tebow. Are you excited about football season? Say, who's your favorite player? It's <laughs> our bathroom in here. Obviously, we have a toilet. Then we have a big map of, of our property. When you come in here, we've got our bunk beds. Bunk beds in here. Get off that bed, boy. What's wrong with you? Come out here. <laughs> this is our front porch. Lots of good times have been out here. Always got to keep a couple coolers ready to go. And then when everybody is staying inside, we stay in the RV right out there. And then check this out, though. We have a beehive right there. See that beehive? Those bees used to have a hive right up there. I'll show it to you. But then they left during winter, and now they're back and they're starting inside the hollow of that tree. Now they're right there. All right, y'all, so I just got home. Sarah's here, and that's my mom's car over there. It means my mom's here, and uh, smells good. Let's see what she's cooking. What is that? It's um, meat, pasta, broccoli, mushrooms, because I gotta hide the broccoli in Ferraria, and then I'm making makeshift garlic bread. There's mom and dad and Aria. What channel's NASCAR channel? <laughs> There's mom and Aria. Hey! What are you doing over there? She's trying to get Jesus loves me on, on the phone. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I really wish I could have got the Polaris fixed, but it just didn't happen. Part should be in on Tuesday, and uh, let me know what you think. I was thinking about doing some live stream videos. So what would you guys think if I did a live stream with me and Sarah and Aria, we sat down and just took all your questions. Whatever questions you wanna ask, basically ask me anything, keep it clean, and we'll answer it. So, hope you guys enjoyed today. I love y'all, appreciate you, and we gone.